Our next game is between QT and Ascot. And it's Ascot that get us underway. So we pick up the action with QT and their first corner. It's Angela Payne injecting to Mossy, trapping. Shot at gold there, deflected by Ascot. Kirshner passes off to Moss. Moss shot at goal. Ascot penetrate the circle. Nice little deflection back there. And goal to Ascot. With 27 minutes to play, Ascot had a break down the right-hand side. The ball injected into the circle, passed back, and an open goal to Rogers. Ascot leading 1-0. Ascot in the circle now. Shot at goal. Moss with the ball for QT. She's in the circle. Shot at goal, saved by the Ascot keeper. Kicks ball in, ball's crossed into the circle. Deflected out of the circle by QT. Kelly hits the ball down the right, it's picked up by Baddock. Baddock taking the ball into the circle. She doesn't shot at goal, saved by the Ascot keeper. Pass there to Sophie Baddock, and Jenna Kirshner has the ball in the circle. Nice little pass across there to Smith. Courtney Kelly, passing ball into the circle. Sophie Baddock has it. Passing through to Jenna Kirshner, who slots the ball in. A pass there to Sophie Baddock, who takes the ball in the circle, beats an Ascot player, passes it to Jenna Kirshner, who has a shot, and first goal for QT. The score is now 1 all, with 11 minutes to play in the first half. 10 minutes to play in the first half, first short corner for Ascot, trapped at the top, shot at goal, saved by Janessa Kirshner, and Ascot come away with another corner. Trap at the top by Ascot, shot at goal, saved again by the QT keeper. Third short corner here in success and session for Ascot. Trapped at the top, Austin passes to the right. Shot at goal is saved by QT. Smith with the ball on the right for QT, passes into the circle. Collected there by Jenna Kirshner and Jenna Kirshner scores her second goal for the match. Smith with the ball, she passes to Kelly in the circle. Little tap to the left, picked up by Kirshner. Kirshner scores her second goal for the match. Fourth short corner here for Ascot. As As Aston Austin traps at the top, passes left. QT come away with it. Mm. Payne with the ball, passes to Baddick. Beats one of the defenders. Takes the ball all the way to the circle, passes off to Max Kelly. Cross, face the goal, and Ascot clear the ball. Kirshner with the ball now, into the circle to Baddock. Baddock going for a short corner here, shot at goal. Free hit taken by Charlton. She moves the ball back over the 25, passes to Long. Who hits the ball into the circle, and an own goal scored there by QT. Came off Ascot's stick. The score is... 3-1 in the first half with 2 minutes 50 to play. The free hit taken by Charlton is taken over the 25, passed to Long. Long hits the ball into the circle and a deflected goal off an Ascot sit, stick, QT leading 3-1. Smith passing the ball there to Speranza. Passes the ball into the circle to Kirshner and Kirshner with her third goal. Penetration up the middle there by QUT. Speranza passing the ball into the circle to Kirshner who scores her third goal for the match. And that's how we'll go into half time with QUT leading 4-1 in this game against Ascot. Payne passing wide there to Baddock. Beats the Ascot player, injects ball into the circle, trapped 
by Moss. Oh, hits the post there, and the ball's over the sideline. Okay. Ascot with the break down the right-hand side, ball into the circle. Oh, miss there to the left. Rogers with the ball. Nice pass to the left into the circle for Hooper. Ball cleared there by the QT keeper. Ascot have it again in the circle and a short corner. 29th minute here in the second half. Ascot with their fifth short corner of the match. The ball saved by the QT keeper. Another shot at goal. And QT come away with the ball. Passes left to Charlton. Charlton with the ball into the circle. And Baddock has a shot at goal, which is saved by the Ascot keeper. Kirshner passing to Sizemi. Sizemi beating one Ascot defender. Passes to Keneally in the circle. Keneally coming away with the corner for QT. Short corner for QT, their third of the match. Kelly out to Kirshner. Traps. Laura Essex with the ball. Passing off there to Jade Hooper, who has the ball in the circle. Crosses. Still with the ball here. Keeper saves it. Ascot coming away with the corner. Long. Speranza, Speranza turn. Nice little one-two there between Speranza and Payne. Max Kelly has the ball now. Pass back to Speranza, who passes into the circle to Sophie Baddock. Has a... Ascot with the ball in the circle. Chance here. Can you... Ascot have the ball now. It's hit to the left to Essex, who's taking on the QT defence. Has the ball in the circle. Shot at goal. Goes wide. And that's the game. QT beating Ascot 4-1 for their third Division 1 win of the season. Third win of the season, Jenna, and a hat-trick to you. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I was um, pretty surprised with the first one. Um, just got it between the goalie's legs and then I think the next two goals um, were between our legs as well. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty exciting game. And the team's really wrapped with how things are going this year? Yeah, yeah. I think that was probably our best game for the season. Um, we passed it so well together and it just felt like it's all coming together and all the girls are really excited and... Um, yeah, Alex is doing a really great job at coaching. Well, obviously so. not the result you were hoping for. Can you tell us what happened during that game? Uh, well, I think before the game we went in expecting like, a good challenge but sort of to be evenly matched and we might have went in maybe even a little bit complacently but ready to play a good game but um, obviously that's not how it turned out and it obviously changed at half time for us. Yeah, we um, had a moment there for about 10 minutes where we just seemed to drop and um, got a bit of overlap. So wasn't as strong a defense as we'd like.